Good morning from the Disney Wish. Full day number one. Yes. We are currently docking at Nassau, like pulling in. Um, I think we're pretty, oh no, we're still moving. Yeah, we're slightly moving. I just went outside. We're like almost at the dock. Um, which I feel like it's docking later than normal. It's like nine o'clock. Yeah, no, I woke, woke up and it, it was like violently shaking. <laughs> yeah, you could feel the vibe. So I, like, I was like, I don't think we're docked yet. And no. So that's why I went and looked out the window and I got blinded because it was so bright. <laughs> but um, we were like turning to stop. But yeah, it's um. I will say like when we left yesterday for sail away, like you didn't feel a thing. It was yeah. vibrating this morning, but this ship in general has but been. But now it's so not smooth. vibrating. No, no, no. It was um, just I guess to turn. It was something, but in general, the ship has been very smooth. Which I guess that's what happens when your ship is brand new. <laughs> So we're gonna go up and eat breakfast. I'm like not hungry, but <laughs> I wanna at least see what they have. I'm sure I'll get something. And today we're at Nassau, we're not gonna get off. We typically don't. Nassau's port is under construction. So if you're gonna be here in like the foreseeable future, they're completely rebuilding the port. So there's not a whole, I mean, Nassau has enough to do if you wanna do an excursion. They have tons, there's all the restaurants and everything, but the actual cruise terminal is not there at the moment. And we've never been big Nassau fans, and we've been here so many times, so we'd rather get to, you know, see the brand new ship that we haven't really truly explored yet. Yeah. So, I think we'll probably spend some time in the pools. I want to hopefully get on the Aqua Mouse if the line's not too long. And, I don't know, we'll just be on the ship for the day. Tonight's dinner is Worlds of Marvel. Very excited for that. So that should be good. And yeah, we did not actually end up going up to the pool deck last night. Uh, we were so tired. No. But we will tonight, probably. It is pirate night, so we'll, we'll be up there for fireworks. And then I'm hoping we'll like wait until it calms down and then just go up and hang up on the pool deck when it's dead. Because um, we love going up when it's very quiet up there. So yeah, definitely a, a lot tonight will be to do. Um, just with dinner and pirate night and everything. Now, because we're on a three night, there is no pirates menu. If you do a four night, there would be, and it's actually identical menu to the Dream and Fantasy, so we're not really missing out there. We'll have the Worlds of Marvel menu, but it is now time for breakfast. Good. Here's a look at our breakfast at Marceline Market. Pretty similar to the options that you'd find at Cabana's. I got some breakfast potatoes, bacon, hash brown, some oatmeal, and the morning snowfall, formerly called the morning tugboat. Amanda got similar stuff she got a mickey waffle some sausage scrambled eggs my mom has the same thing my dad has a bagel and some egg fried rice in addition but pretty much what you would expect to find from a breakfast buffet down here in the grand hall we have the princess meet and greet which is an event you sign up for but it is free you just have to reserve a time and it looks like you can eat cinderella at the staircase we got moana at the far end of the stage Tiana, Rapunzel, and I think there's one more in the corner that is below me and I can't see, but you get to meet a whole bunch of princesses all at once, and you just kind of go from one to the next. We're here in the Wishing Star Cafe, getting some coffee. Oh, Amanda got, what'd you get? Green tea matcha. Okay, I got the Austrian coffee, which is coffee with some chocolate and cream. They printed an image on Amanda's, but it wasn't Disney, so it wasn't... Anything said? Is it good though? Very matcha y. Oh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Chunky. Chunky, <laughs> okay. It's a very fancy coffee machine though. We've come in to take a, a better look at Keg and Compass, which is not open right now, but it's open to walk into. And oh my god, my my heart. We have a Maelstrom quote. If you remember the old ride from Epcot, the list will always said. You were not the first to pass this way, nor shall you be the last. It was one of my favorites. That's why I'm a Frozen Ever After creator, even though I absolutely love the movie. <gasps> Up. Love, love, love Frozen. Just don't like Frozen Ever After because I'm still bitter about Maelstrom being gone, but it's okay. So this is a Nordic pub. Definitely want to come in here at some point and order something. It's really cool in here. I also have a map on the ceiling. Maui? <gasps> oh! Wait, that's so cool. Maui and Moana. Look, where? Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, Up House. 
I'm upside down. Tafiti. Well, take her, uh, whatever her name was. Oh my god, we're walking, we're walking. I'm sorry, this video is like awful, but I'm trying to look at the ceiling. We're spinning, we're spinning. And yeah, it's Hawaiian Islands right there. Where is Lilo? Oh, I'm looking, there we go. <laughs> this is so disorienting. Captain Jack's above the bar. He's gonna be upside down, sorry. Where? Oh, it's a Nautilus! Zooming in, zooming in. Nautilus. But it is upside down. And then we got the Up House again. My favorite Pixar movie. Ariel. Ariel. Upside down Aladdin. It's kind of. Oh, that's cool. Elsa from Frozen 2. In her show yourself dress. That's so cool. Today for lunch we are getting Donald's Cantina where you get to build your own burritos, tacos, or bowls. With your choice of beef, chicken, pork carnitas, rice, beans, or vegetables. And then they're topping their guacamole, salsa, sour cream, queso, and Mexican cheese blend. And then there's a salsa bar with many, many different salsas. Oh, I see some white rice back there too. Looks good. Yeah, cilantro rice. Oh, I cannot wait. I'm getting a bowl. Amanda's still deciding what she's gonna get. But it's like a Chipotle on the ship. Here is a look at lunch. My bowl from Donald's Cantina. I got fajita beef, rice, cheese, corn, sour cream, all kinds of stuff. Amanda got a burrito. And then my brother, Jaden, and my dad went to the Smokestack Barbecue. So it looks like there's sweet potato fries. Is that brisket? Brisket, sausage, potato salad, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese looks good. Yeah, I love potato salad, corn, all kinds of stuff. So I will be trying that as well. But I wanted to start with my bowl from the cantina. I love that they have new options on this ship. You won't find the cantina or the barbecue on any of the other ships. Next up, I'm gonna try Mickey's Smokestack Barbecue. I will say the cantina portions, it wasn't like a full meal, which you could always ask for more if you wanted it, but I think it was perfect because I wanted to try this as well. So it was kind of half of my meal, and now I'm gonna get some barbecue. It looks like they have brisket, sausage, chicken, mac and cheese, potato salad, pasta salad, sweet potato fries. There's a lot here and my dad and Jaden seem to be fans, so I'm excited to try it. So it's a good pork as well. And something green, I can't identify that. Here's a look at everything I'm trying from the Smokestack Barbecue. I got some sweet potato fries, some mac and cheese, some cornbread, a little bit of sausage, and some brisket with the barbecue mustard sauce and the normal barbecue sauce. And this looks so good. Festival of Foods is definitely superior to flows on the other ships and whatever's on the Magic and Wonder. This is, I love the barbecue and Mexican options here. We took a nap in the room. It was, well, I didn't really nap, but Amanda did. I did. We need just to relax after that lunch. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh, we did not talk about the rib. Oh my, oh yeah. We stopped filming after we went back for seconds. <laughs> so Jaden went up and got more food from Smokestack Barbecue, and they had ribs, and it may have been the best rib I've ever had. They were really tasty. So good. So we will be eating there again. But then we came back. I showered. We just kind of relaxed a little bit. Had to digest all the food we ate. But now it is open house at the Cargo Bay down in Oceaneer Club, the Star Wars area. And this is the moment I've been waiting for. I'm going to go meet a porg. It's time to meet a porg. I'm so excited. So yeah, we're going to head down. I have I mean, I want to see the other sections of Oceaneer, but this is what I'm waiting for. I have realized that I like have yet to show the hallways as well. They're so much brighter and more colorful than the other ships. Like, look at this carpet, since we're in a Moana slash Little Mermaid hallway. And the other thing that I absolutely love are these lights. So there are circular lights and like a square cutout and then they project little designs. So we've got Ariel swimming around since we're on an aerial floor. Got the little seashells, very fun. 
as well as the carpets and everything are themed. So we got a big shell. Some of the other floors have other designs for Cinderella and such. But we gotta head down to deck three. And then I think go down the stairs next to the slide to get down into Oceaneer. I just love filming as we walk through this ship. It's just so scenic. I don't know. I love how everything looks. It, just, it is. Just the colors. Everything looks so nice. <laughs> it's modern, but it's like very Disney. Yeah, it looks great. I just love all the blues and the purples. But I still love the dream and the, the design of the other four ships. I think it's really nice that we now have both- Ooh, I forgot it's Pirate Knight! <gasps> Look at Captain Minnie! Oh, I love her new costume. We've got Hook and Smee here on the stage. That's fun. We didn't bring pirate costumes because it's only a three night. We figured maybe in January when we're back on the Wish, we'll all dress up. But... I think we go down here. Yeah, the stairs have like lights in them. That's so we cool. Gone down here yet. No, we haven't come down here at all. So there's Oceaneers Club. Oh, Cheshire Cat. Oh, look at the bottom of the steps. Yeah, it's all Alice in Wonderland themed, so the slide takes you directly into there. So it's like you're going down the rabbit hole. This mural, it's so colorful on this deck. So we got Frozen 2. And then we got, oh, Amanda's gonna love this, Daisy. So I think this is where Mickey Minnie's Captain's deck is. This is so fun. Oh, we got Captain Minnie and Mickey. Love it. And then we got, this must be where It's a Small World Nursery is. I like how it kind of shows you where you are. Which section of the kids area. Oh, we got the goat. That's cool. I like how it's a Mary, Bla Mary Blair design. So it's like contemporary meets... Well, of course it's Small World. Obviously it is Mary Blair. A Mary Blair. I cannot talk. Okay, I think we gotta go around the corner. Am I going the right way? No, I don't think I am. I think this is just staterooms now. But... The staterooms? Maybe we have to go in the main Oceaneer entrance? Yeah, it's just state rooms. Okay, we gotta go in the main Oceaneer entrance, I guess. Okay. Oceaneer Club, we're coming. Is it, it is, it is, but like it's weird because it has separate open house hours, just like the Marvel has its own separate open house hours from the main Oceaneer Club. So I wasn't sure if it had its own entrance, but I guess it's all connected. Just kidding, I think we're onto something. So we came down the stairs. I think it, yeah, it's this direction. Okay, this makes sense. Now we have a Star Wars mural. Pork. That's so fun. And then if we continue, we've got Marvel. That's so cool. Okay, uh, this is the superior Star Wars section on a cruise ship. This is so cool. It's so well themed. We got some fun screens. Got a little workshop back here. It's got Droid Depot vibes. Little droid parts up there. Got some more screens. What we got over here? Hello. So the meeting with Chewie and Ryan is going to be about 15 minutes. Okay. The line is already forming outside, so we'll see you on the ground. Uh, okay. We got some creatures to look at. Love that. Yeah, look cat. I think the porg is supposed to be over here. Oh, okay. We gotta spin this wheel. Hey, 
Oh, hello. Yeah, the porg is supposed to be right here. I don't think I'm gonna meet a porg. This is sad. R.I.P. Porg. Maybe I'll have to come back tomorrow. I failed. That's upsetting. I don't know. Happy Pirates Night. We got our towel animal. We are back from the show, so we got something crazy looking with some more chocolate. I don't think I showed our towel animal yesterday, so I want to make sure I did today. They use that wish blanket with the cruise pattern. Super fun. We are not dressing up as pirates this cruise since we figured it was a short cruise, but we're going to be back on the wish in January. We'll do it then. But we just saw The Little Mermaid, brand new show we have not seen. I thought it was really good. Yeah, it was very different. I mean, like, I remember at D, uh, Destination D23, they said it was like, um, I don't remember the word, but it was like not... Like, it's more like live action visual. inspired. Yeah. yeah, I mean, even the live action had to come out <laughs> But you could tell that's that's what they're preparing for. And also the music was more kind of modern. Yes. To kind of fit the vibes of like, what the songs kind of like, like Ursula... And why not? Didn't they release the clip of Ursula? Yeah, they she, they sung it at Destination yeah, D so when we were there. It's more of like a jazzy version of Poor Unfortunate Souls, which I guess it like really fits the song. Like you would never think like, oh, Poor Unfortunate Souls like met, like would be jazzy. But it's, it was good. It was fun. Now they have the pirate show going on right now on deck. We are not going to watch it because I have seen videos. It's identical to the Dream and Fantasy. So we've seen it. Just saw it on the Dream less than a month ago, but we will be going up to the Pirates fireworks because that is very different. But I did get some chicken tenders, which I know we have dinner soon. We're going to Worlds of Marvel. Do I need more food? Of course not. But that's not going to stop me. So I got some chicken tenders from Goofy's Grill. I've heard they're better than the other ships, and I need to know if that's true because the other ships are already fantastic. So I got some tenders, some fries, which look super crispy. Like, look at that. It looks so good. And I got some honey mustard, of course, because they got the good honey mustard on the ship. And it's just going to be a, a little snack that I do not need before we head down to dinner, which is in about an hour or so. And I'm ready to see Worlds of Marvel. I'm excited. I know it's a show. The menu sounds interesting. I'm going to be getting some schnitzel. So excited to have yet another new meal. And then we'll be heading up for the fireworks, which actually have... I'm going to head back inside have a live band which they've never done before so should be cool and then i think our plan tonight is to walk around the ship late we haven't done that yet we didn't do it last night so i do want to go see the ship walk around the pool deck we'll probably go back to another bar we did go to the bayou yesterday i'm like getting very close to amanda so that if she says anything the microphone picks it up now that we're using an external mic um but yeah gonna do some exploring want to see more of the ship and we want to take some fun photos with, like, the Grand Hall being empty. So we'll have to be up pretty late for that. But, yeah, we have many hours ahead of us on day number two. We are on our way to Worlds of Marvel. It's almost dinner time. Just had my chicken tenders, so I'm far from hungry. But that's just, you know, cruise things. But my parents and Jaden were in the Grand Hall, or off of the Grand Hall, while we were up in the room. And Jaden saw the chandelier did a little pirate show for a pirate night. It played Peter Pan music. Which, like, I want to see that. I don't know if we'll capture it as we walk past it. But that's so fun. I did miss it. I don't know. I didn't know it was going to do that. We saw the Kiss Goodnight show, which I'm sure we'll see again. But yeah, it's all red for pirate night. All spooky. The fiber optics are back on. I just love that this chandelier kind of interacts to what's going on on the ship. I think I like it more than the other chandeliers just because of the interactivity of it. Plus, it just looks great. I mean, we love it. But I did miss the show. Good thing is we'll be back in a few months, and now I know it does it. I had no idea. I've yet to hear anybody acknowledge that there was a pirate show. This is news to me. So... No, I'll be per be more prepared for next time, but we'll be up late. Maybe it'll do it again later. Don't know, but we are off to dinner, and then we have our fireworks show right afterwards. So we have a busy. Ooh, 
with the bar. I want the bourbon. That's so cool. I want to do a haircut when we come back on the wish. Whenever that'll be in January. Um, however many months that is from August. Ooh. Coming into Worlds of Marvel. Such a big logo, it's hard to capture in one one screen. We're coming in for a technology showcase from PIM. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. So it's a technology showcase of web, which we have we've been on web slingers. Web, PIM, Stark, and what is that third one? That's what I was gonna say. Is it Wakanda? I've never seen that logo before. Am I a fake Marvel fan? That's so fun though. I love the theme park connectivity between Avengers Campus and the ship. And I already see all the fun lighting. Look at it. Oh my god. Arc reactor. This... Wow. Oh, I love this. I don't care if the show, I don't, I mean, I'm sure the show will be cool, but I don't care how good it is. This restaurant just looks great and that is what matters to me. Look at the quantum cores. I know that's kind of the interactive element of the show. Love it. Here's a look at the menu. I'm excited for that bread service. Definitely getting schnitzel. It's one of my favorites. The Marvel bread. Marble bread it is Marvel red. Oh my god, I can't talk. Look at it, it's red bread. Like, hello? What? Here's our red pepper dip. I'm very excited for that because I've had a similar dip on the other ships. It's delicious. But, oh my god, this restaurant. She's beautiful. Love it. They do have actually a non-alcoholic drink that comes in a sipper that looks like the Quantum Core, and it will be mine. Definitely getting that. Okay, I have something to say. You have something to say. This restaurant is already looking marvelous. Oh, oh no. Oh, wow. Give cr credits to Jaden for that. Oh, that was really a gift. <laughs> the Avengers Technology Good evening, everyone. Please welcome Scott Lang and Hope Van Alright, just, you know what, I need three, find my machine, and my 15 minutes, two. Hi, I'm Scott Lang, um, but you might know me as Ant-Man. And I am Ben Dine, the Look, before we start, let me address the elephant in the room. I've heard a lot of chatter out there asking why I didn't shrink down, go in, and, uh, Kill Thanos in a really creative way. First of all, gross. Secondly, it's much more complicated than that. Allow me to explain. If only we had the time. Anyway, tonight, through the power of quantum science, we will show you how together we can change the world. Yeah. Now, look, don't worry, kids. Quantum science sounds overwhelming. Trust me, it is. <clears throat> These are quantum cores cutting-edge technology that for the first time allows us to specifically target our PIM particles to shrink or grow just about anything. These don't get any crumbs on When we give you the direction, you push the buttons on your cores, and they send a signal to the regulator here, which in turn remotely targets an object to shrink or grow. Easy, right? I'll show you. Let's shrink something already, huh? Let's do it. All right, I got this on my cat. Because I couldn't... Put it under the bed. Like this? 
I made this. It's a swan. Anyway, I want to shrink this suitcase and the swan to make it easier to take home. Well, making it smaller would make it better. Running, initiate power up sequence. Target wire, point to the cruiser right line. Prepare to push your buttons. Are you ready? In three, two, one, activate. We've got some drink sippers. So I got the Quantum Core. It does have a little straw that pops out. So here it is with the full size Quantum Core that we just got to use. And yes, it does light up. So cool, I love it. And then Jaden got the other one, the Wakanda Forever, which is an oversized Coke Zero can. Coke Zero is my favorite, but it is in the Wakandan font. So that's super cool. Um, I'm, we haven't tried either of the drinks yet. I'm actually more excited about the Wakanda drink than the drink that I got, but I wanted this sipper, so had to do it. Very cool. I wanted to show my parents' drinks as well. So my mom got the Wakanda Experience, which was three different cocktails. There's a look at my dad's drink as well. Don't know what that one is. The Stinger. No idea what's in it, oh, but it's called it's the Stinger. Oh. Blueberry and grapefruit. Oh, Amanda has the menu I memorized. And then we also got our appetizers. So I got the bao bun. Jaden got that as well. Looks pretty good. Amanda has a jumbo fried shrimp that was enlarged with pim particles. My dad got, I don't know what that is. What is it? Sa that's salmon? That looks interesting. And then my mom got some soup. Is that the, ch the potato soup? Okay, I have a potato soup coming next. So far, this meal is very fun. Oh, I, this is still lighting up. I just love this tipper. It's so like unique to this restaurant, which I love. Here's my soup, but don't mind the red liquid on the plate that Amanda popped. It was a boba ball from my dad's salmon, which who knew they make salmon flavored boba balls. And yes, it's nasty. Don't eat it. It's horrible. Unless you really like salmon. Apparently liquid fish is a real thing now and I don't recommend. Here's Amanda's second appetizer. What was it? Um, uh, iceberg wet. Okay, and it came with blue cheese, but you swapped it out. Yeah, we don't like blue cheese. I think I faced the issue with the quantum I hope it's kept out of fresh air. How about we surprise her? Treat my terrifying swan back to normal size and fresh air. Friday, we got the cores. Target acquired. Quantum cores are on time. Remember, no grubby hands on the quantum cores. Lots of crumbs on your hands. Here we go. Three, two, one. Uh oh. Uh, that didn't work. Uh, Friday? Bring up one of the egg cans. August! What just happened? Uh, Scott? Are you going to 
Uh, I just wanted to surprise you. Oh, you did. Honey, you shrunk the ship. Uh, 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 All right, here's a look at dinner. I got the chicken schnitzel. Amanda got the pasta. Was it good? And, okay, cool. Very cool. I haven't tried mine yet, but it looks delicious. And later we're gonna have a serious talk about bringing quantum tech to a cruise ship. Look at this crowd, you try keeping their attention. Now look, that guy's still eating. We gotta get them course. The kid and I'll hold them all while you do. Kid? Miss Marvel is tearing up with the star fangled man with plan against the metal mess. Throw down on the high seat, baby. <clears throat> Shoot. Hi, hi, Captain. At ease. I mean, take it easy. And what did I say about the boat captain jokes? Said I should make them at every chance I get. Just stay sharp and watch it. Oh me. my god! Oh, what? What is it? I want to fly a sick! Like good sick, not like seasick, kind of sick, which I'm totally feeling right now. I mentioned I've never been on a cruise ship before. Young lady, we have to work on your focus. Your focus. You're an Avenger now. Huh? In training! Wait! Can I get school credit? Is there like a, like a, like a special pass for a uniform or something? Oh my god! Thank you. 
get your plans on the way. Funny who you ran into on a cruise. Welcome to the party, Carol. Ego, Sam, give me a sec. At the rate you were going, you would have been here all night. You know you could face things out, give the folks a little bit more of a show. Nah, I think they're ready for dessert. And I've got a date with some creamuses on the other side of the galaxy. Hmm. I have fun with this space stuff, and thanks for the assist, Amos. You're welcome, Cal. Binary. What is that? What's on glass? I don't know what those are. Damn, it's a little blood shit. I. Classic Captain Marvel. Hope. Scott. Shield barrier activated. Um, look, hypothetically. Uh, let's say that Ultron absorbed the regulator. Can I weaponize the quantum cores to target? Technically, yes. If you adjust the wave frequency, Scott, what's going on? Oh, nothing, not. Hypothetical, I'm just making a conversation. Uh, Scott? Thanks, you're the best. Scott! Warning! Shield barrier failure imminent! Try to target every core at Ultron. It'll take a minute. I'll buy us some time. Oh, All right, people. It's hero time. When I give the signal, smash your buttons. And if I don't make it back, avenge me. Hey, Metalhead! Oh. The cheesecake bite. Over there. Looks pretty tasty. There <laughs> and then here's a look at Amanda's Sunday. Has a donut on top. Hey, oh, and it did come with a little pim chocolate. Thank you. So cool. Oh, it's blurry, but there it is. The happy accident from the quantum course. <laughs> well, all things considered, it looks like our uh, presentation was a success. <laughs> That's a large cupcake. Yeah, we gotta go. Right. See you around, everyone. It is now time for the Pirates Rockin' Parlay Party. The first firework show with live music at sea. Very excited for this. Here's a final cannon blast before the big show! And pirates around! What?
Not quite so hurricane strength. Oh, listen up, pirates! Your whole crew on my ship now! And my crew know how to rock the high seas! Show me your pirates, or you'll walk the plank! Here, the captain! We've got to get up hard on you on that rock the
votes with us. Yo ho! And good night! Alright, to kill some time before we walk around the ship to take pictures, we came to Keg and Compass tonight. I refilled my beer mug. I don't know if I actually showed it when I got it from Weezy's Freezies. I may have. But this is the beer mug. They do have a Wish specific one. It's very nice. They do swap it out whenever you refill it. I got the Kentucky Bourbon Ale that I've had on the Dream. And he put a little stamp on top as well, which is super fun. And it's a little more lively in here than when we walked her earlier. Jaden's hiding from me. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. But this is the, the bar we looked at when we saw the characters on the ceiling. And yeah, there is karaoke happening right out there in Luna. And it is quite interesting. We are here on the pool deck. It is after midnight, so it's nice and quiet. Our favorite time to be up on the pool deck. We always like to come up here to get drinks, which we didn't actually bring up our bottles to fill with water or anything, but this is the best time to get to take advantage of there being nobody, so we're taking lots of fun photos. We must fight. There is Pirates of the Caribbean playing on the Funnel Vision. Literally, like, nobody watching it. Well, that's not true. There's plenty of seats taken, but there's not many people walking around, so if you want to get to explore the ship with low crowds. This is the time to do it. The Aquamouth looks very cool lit up, which we did not ride yet. I wanted to ride it today, but it had an hour wait. We're gonna be trying again tomorrow, but very nice and chill. We took some photos with the back funnel. Now we're gonna go try the front funnel because it's a very different layout for the pool deck. So we attempted the back funnel, but it's not easy to stand in front of because of the aqua mouse so i think the front funnel is the way to go but it looks very cool lit up at night i will say the aqua mouse is not as attractive as the aqua duck being kind of this giant enclosed lift hill but i like how it looks lit up at night it definitely improves the appearance during the day it's kind of an eyesore but i don't mind it at night and i think i may appreciate it more once i've ridden it but very cool. I love these tiered pools. So to give you an idea of how the pool deck's laid out, there is a pool covered up right there in front of the screen. So that's the Mickey pool. Then we have the mini pool covered right here at the bottom. That's another pool. Then we have the Daisy pool with the Donald pool above it. And then across on the other side, up here at the top, we have the Goofy pool covered up with the Pluto pool. So that makes one, two, three. Four, <laughs> five, six pools on the main pool deck. Then you have the adult pool. You have Trixie's Falls. You have the Chip and Dale pool. You have a couple hot tubs. And I'm probably missing one or two. There are pools everywhere. So far more total water space on this ship, which we love to see. We've yet to get to go in any of the pools. So we're hoping that's gonna happen tomorrow. We're gonna get off at Castaway for sure, but probably not for very long in order to be able to come back and maybe check out a pool or two. So hopefully that's on the agenda for tomorrow. So day, the day. The end of day number two on the Disney Wish. We had another good day. Mm -hmm. Two like random thoughts about things that the Wish has that other ships don't have, which I appreciate. Okay. <laughs> number I'm one. To hear. Number one. POG. Ah. Had that at breakfast today yes. at Marcy Market. I will say overall, Cabana's beats Marcy Market. Not yeah. the biggest Marcy Market fan. It's a little chaotic. It's chaotic. Um, the food's pretty much the same. Yeah, like I wasn't mad but... we didn't eat lunch there. Um, I would definitely prefer eating on the pool oh, deck. Yeah. But Mickey's and Friends Festival food, far superior to Flo's. Changed my life. I ate the entire festival of foods, almost. <laughs> I did not get Pretty any. Much, I didn't. I you did didn't not have any pizza. pizza. I had the pizza. So between the two of us, we did have a full festival of foods. I had a burrito bowl. I had brisket, cornbread, mac and cheese, sausage. something else, sausage. That was good sausage. Ice cream. That was good ice cream. Chicken tenders, French fries, sweet potato fries, <sighs> and Marvel. And I had a burrito <laughs> and a pepperoni pizza. And, Marvel. and I kid you not, that rib was one of the best I've ever had. 
the burrito bowl was really good. It was like it was literally small. on the same tier as Chipotle. It was, yeah, I felt like I was eating Chipotle. So good. Yeah. Um, dangerous to have all of that available in the pool deck. So that yeah. was amazing. Other thing that I like that the Wish has that the other ships do not, and by other ships I'm specifically referring to the Caribbean ships, <laughs> um, hot chocolate machine. <laughs> we just got hot chocolate on the way back to the pool deck, and they have a legit like hot chocolate machine you'd find yeah, at any of the like Disney the resorts. Yeah, it's not like the packets that like, you have, like the Nestle packets, like it was like... Pre-made. Real, yeah. yeah. If you get the resort mugs from Walt Disney World, you can get the hot chocolate. Disney hot chocolate is a ten out of ten. Mm. And the Dream and Fantasy mm-hmm. gave you packets on the pool deck. That's what you did. I had the legit like Disney hot chocolate when I went on the Alaskan cruise on the Wonder, but I haven't had it in years, and I like that the Wish has it. So mm. little things like that I'm picking up on that the other ships don't offer. But we just had a fun time walking around the ship to take various photos. We might do it again tomorrow night. I wanted pictures with the chandelier in the Grand Hall. Yeah, tomorrow. And it was red for Pirate Night, which I like that it changes. Yeah. But I didn't like the red for the photos. It didn't really match the the vibe. vibe, So maybe tomorrow night on our final night, we'll go back and Um, take some more photos. But we wore our Wish outfits. I have the Wish Spear jersey on. Oh, I have my whole. Amanda's got. Get up. The Wish. Sweatsuit. <laughs> yeah. It's very cool. Um, but yeah, another great day. We didn't get off the ship at all. We didn't honestly do much. We were going to go to the pools. No, we did. We were going to go to the pool, but then when we got up there, it started to rain. Yeah. So then we just stayed and walked. Up. We walked around. We got to yeah. explore. We chilled in the room, which, I mean, part of the cruise yeah. is relaxing. So it I wasn't like a bad nice use of our time by any means, but I'm excited to try to accomplish more on the pool decks tomorrow. I feel like we've explored everything else. I want to get in at least one pool tomorrow. <laughs> I want to get into a pool. I want to go back oh, to Oceaneer and yeah. see the rest of the rooms and hope the yeah. Porg is there. We'll um, I'm expecting it to not be there. And the good thing is we'll be back on this ship in a few months. So yeah. if I don't get to see it, I have another Maybe chance. Next time. But I'm hoping it'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> so definitely subscribe if you want to see tomorrow. It is our Castaway Key Day. We will definitely be getting off the ship, mm-hmm. but not, not for so long. long. <laughs> yes, not nearly as long as we typically would. As much would. as we love Castaway, but um, we just have some other things that we want to get done on here. Right, and like we, we've yet we to be in a pool. We were just at Castaway like a month ago, so. We were just there. I really um, want to spend time in a pool on the ship. And it's something, like, that's not new to us as much as we love it, but, like, this is new and... We did want to have a pool day today, but we yeah. did not. And m- my to. thoughts are when we come back in January, yeah, we can get in a pool again, but it's not going to be as yeah, warm. It won't be, be pool weather. So I definitely want to take advantage of at least trying out a pool now, if possible. And I do think coming back early on a castaway day, the pool deck will be much quieter than like today yeah, for being the Nassau day. So we will get off, but we will also have plenty of Wish content. It is our final full day. We have dinner at Arendelle, which is actually the one I'm most excited for. But I really liked Marvel. Yeah, Marvel was so fun. I mean, like, I was a, cool. I love Marvel, MCU, everything is so amazing. I actually went to the bathroom in the final part of the show. Oh, you missed <laughs> most of the show. <laughs> but I did watch it on YouTube a couple right. of weeks ago. So, like, I kind of knew what was happening, but... The nice thing is, I feel like, um, so like my dad is not a big Marvel person. He's barely seen any Marvel movies. I don't think the show is too much. I think the show added to the meal, but it wasn't the focus of the meal. Yeah. I think when we go to Arendelle tomorrow, I think that's going to be like, the show is like the meal. And I feel like this just kind of had little segments in between you eating. Yeah. So it was was a good balance. But I think the restaurant looked really cool. Oh, it was awesome. Um, The drink that came in my Quantum Core sipper was delicious. That was good. Non-alcoholic smoothie. Um, I do actually think the food was better than 1923. I still wouldn't say it was, like, my number one cruise meal. Um, neither of the dinners have been. The pool deck, absolutely number one of the fleet. Um, but I wouldn't say the dinners have, like, blown me away. They're still yeah. good. No, I'd say that I liked my meal tonight maybe a little more than I liked it more than last night. I definitely did. Um, the schnitzel was really... I will say the schnitzel was very good, but it was, like, on par with the one I've had on the Fantasy and the Dream. It was basically the same. Um, the dessert was very good. It was, like, just New York cheesecake, um, but it was good cheesecake. And the bao bun I did not actually like very much. I would not get that again. My shrimp was good. Your shrimp looked better than the bao bun. My shrimp came with, like, corn And the soup was kind of, kind of weird. There was a hot dog in my corn, in my potato soup. I was eating my potato soup, enjoying it. It was, it was decent. It wasn't, like, 
again, not the best potato soup, but it was good. I wasn't mad I ordered it. And then I get a chunk of hot dog in it, which I clearly did not read the menu and did not realize that there was meat in it. So it was definitely an interesting combination. The um, salmon bow, uh, boba ball truly ruined me. So that, that was interesting. Was like the, whoever came up with that, like they need to be fired. That was Ooh. just like, yeah, at least your dad liked it. Did he though? I don't know. He said Maybe that he, he did. He thought it was interesting. And it, it was, was interesting unique. for sure. So I don't know if that the, was like um, a good thing or not, but like that was actually disgusting. It was gross, but I don't like salmon. Um, but yeah, the chancel was good. Dessert was very good. So the food was good. The Marvel bread was awesome. I liked the red bread, and yeah. the drinks were very good. Um, so I'll happily eat there again. I'm very excited to go back but also looking forward to Arendelle. So definitely give this video a like if you enjoyed our first full day on The Wish, a look at Marvel and all of the fun things we did today. And I'm excited to see what comes up tomorrow, so definitely stay tuned for that. But that's going to be it for tonight. It is time for us to go to bed. So thanks for watching, and we will see you guys the next time we go to Disney and beyond.